going on everybody and welcome back to all the minion moto show and another episode of minion moto's redneck garage sitting in a gosh damn shed that i built just to be able to do some damn work on my damn dirt bike and that's it and you're wondering if you wonder why i have wood floors in here well it's basically a tin shed I needed something to uh, screw the shed down to so it wouldn't go blown away when we get the 40 plus mile an hour winds out here which is basically every other damn day so and if I get a little bit of an oil leak if I drip some oil on there from changing my oil or spill a little gas or something or if I'm out here cleaning my bike using degreaser and shit the wood will soak it all up and uh yeah uh, that way I don't have less of a chance of contaminating the earth with uh with oils and everything so anyways today's episode of Minion Moto's show and Minion Moto's garage is another product review for y'all the IMS 3.5 gallon gas tank now I've already gotten, by the time I'm making this video, I've already gone riding about three or four times, about three times with the bike and the tank. With that tank on it, I've made five videos, which by the time you see this video, you'll probably either see anywhere from two to all five of those videos with this tank on there. I don't know how I'm going to compose the, the videos together. I don't know if I'm going to do this video last after all five videos go out. Or in between those five, but anyways, uh, yeah, I got the 3.5 gallon gas tank on here from the uh, from IMS, and there's the stock 1.8 gallon tank. So you can see there's a big difference in size right there, okay. I'm gonna tell you what just riding this bike with this bigger tank it is freaking amazing okay the tank is a little bit wider so when you're sitting on the bike itself the tank is wider right here compared to you know so you definitely feel it right here between your knees when you're on the bike riding so to me that is a good thing because I feel like I can control the bike a little bit better because I the bike's not like rail thin anymore. It's still rail thin right about here where just where the sub frame connects to the regular frame and right above the airbox. But I'm not usually sitting way back here. I'm usually sitting way up here more onto the tank itself. Right? So uh Believe me, there's a big weight difference between 1.6, 1.8 gallons of, of fuel compared to 3.5 gallons of fuel. It's about double the weight. And, uh, yeah, so it went from probably about, I don't know, 14 pounds worth of fuel to about 33 pounds gallons or pounds worth of fuel so that's a big difference from about 15 pounds to 33 pounds worth of fuel and me i'm the type of person i like a little bit more weight on my bikes i don't i'm not really that big on you know lightweight fidgety bikes when i'm riding a bike i want to feel like i'm on a damn bike and have a little bit of weight to throw around because when you get in that lightweight shit, it's like things can break a lot easier. And believe me, I used to race BMX and I custom built about three BMX bikes for myself. And every single one of those bikes that I built were about 22 to 25 pounds. While everybody else's race bike was about 13 to 15 pounds. So I was easily 10 to... 12 pounds heavier 
my bike was 10 to 12 pounds heavier than everybody else's bike so i'm the type of person when i'm on a bike i want to feel like i'm on a bike now that being said i'm not wanting to go ride a five six seven hundred plus pound harley because that's just way too damn much that's just way too heavy forget that i'm not talking down about harleys they're good bikes i like the fact that they're making america but they're just not my top style of bike so but when i'm riding a dirt bike racing bmx bikes riding a mountain bike whatever i want to have a little bit of weight there so if you don't like having a weight then or added weight to your bike then a bigger tank might not be good for you but believe me if you can handle a little bit of extra weight if you can compromise having some extra weight on your bike it will pay out for you because the thing is is with the bigger tank and the more weight yeah it's going to add more weight but you're going to go you're going to be able to ride so much farther so much longer it's not even funny like this right here is where my gas levels at right here last time i went riding i filled it well the thing is it was down to here and i filled it up to here and then i literally put in well, i put about an hour and a half on my bike last time and only took it down from right about here at the top of the thing here down about here so i maybe used three quarters of a gallon maybe a gallon a fuel in about an hour and a half now someone's gonna be like well if you had a gallon uh 1.75 gallon tank before and you could get an hour and a half and only use a gallon at a time then why'd you go with the bigger tank well the thing is is this thing is a black tank you can't tell how much fuel is in this damn thing and as you can see you got the channel here which means half your fuel's on one side half the other fuel's on the other side that means i'd have to keep tilting the bike over to get the gap more fuel from this side over to this side which is a pain in the ass now with the ims tank i still have to do that because it hangs down like this about this low on the other side but when you have three and a half gallons of fuel it doesn't go side to side until you get about down to here so you can get a good gallon and a half worth of fuel use maybe two gallons before you have to tip the bike over to take more fuel from one side to the other and you don't even have to do that because it might just come over on its own while you're riding it'll slosh around and whatever so but the thing is i could have gotten another black tank i could have gotten it in a three and a half gallon tank i could have gotten it in a four gallon tank but i looked at the four gallon tank it didn't really appeal to me that much that's why I went with the three and a half gallon tank. And the thing is, is I went with natural. This is called natural instead of, you either can go black or natural. And I went with the natural so I can see how much fuel I actually have. So that's another good thing about having a bigger tank or the natural tank. You can see how much fuel you are, you have. Now, if you're a dirt bike rider who races on the track, I know there's quite a few people out there who race on the track that don't want a three and a half gallon tank. And they might want to stick with a one and a half gallon tank or two gallon tank, whatever. Well, guess what? Go to IMS, look up your bike, the year, the make, model, and everything. They make stock tanks that are in the natural color. So guess what? You can have a stock size tank and have it go from black to natural and you can see how much fuel you have and then guess what not only do they have they have screw capped gas cans or gas tanks they also have ones with a flapper here to where you can take the jug and just shove it in there and automatically fills it up without having to take this, the gas cap off now i went with the gas cap or the screw cap just because it's like having that flapper out in the desert is not gonna work for me you know give me the damn screw cap i can go riding for three four hours 
get back to the truck before we even run out unscrew the cap and then just put the gas in gas in it's that it's not that hard it takes two extra seconds to unscrew the cap and put this cap back on now if you're out racing that two seconds can be the difference between winning and losing i understand that and that will work better for you no, not for me so uh you know just as you can see it comes up above the seat here so you know anyways i just happen to like it i think you all would enjoy it too if you get into riding dirt bikes and that's my product review for ims gas tanks can't say anything bad about the damn thing i like it 100 positive review for me Catch you guys on the flip side.